Good morning, comic book fans. Welcome back to Comics in 5 Minutes. I am your other no shorty. And since I've done all the other From the Ashes stuff, let's do another From the Ashes thing. This one is Sentinels. And I got asked recently if From the Ashes is an event, like, crossover kind of thing. I want to make it clear that although I'm reviewing all of them with the same kind of vibe, they're not like an event. You don't, well, they're an event, but they're not a crossover. You don't need to read all of them to get anything extra from them. It's basically just what they're using to delineate the Krakoan Age to this point. And I kind of like the idea of it. But mostly the reason I review them is because they should be good jumping on points. One of the things we get asked a lot in comic book stores, I'm sure if anyone else is watching this has worked in comic book store, it's, I really like the idea of reading about Don't Let's Start. And it can be a bit intimidating. I mean, I've had numerous conversations about how to do it, but it feels like this From the Ashes is a good point. So I'm reviewing as many of them as I can to see if they are going to make good jumping on points. If you're going to need to have read a whole bunch of other stuff beforehand, if you can just enjoy it for what it is, and if the writing is good enough to like lead you into it uh, gracefully. And here we have Alex Pacnadal doing one of them, uh, which is really good because he's one of my favourite writers, uh, with Justin Mason on the art, who is absolutely spectacular. Um, I'm going to talk about the art first of this one because I know Justin Mason from uh, the Spider-Punk stuff with Cody Ziggler, and I really, really like the Spider-Punk stuff with Cody Ziggler. Um, and one of the reasons I really like it is the artwork. It is always dynamic, it is kind of loose and scratchy, it looks a bit punky and anarchisty, and I love that kind of vibe for it. I wasn't expecting it from a from the ashes kind of thing, especially one that looked like it was going a bit more like a, a darker mercenary vibe kind of thing to it. I thought that, you know, that, that kind of loose style might not work as effectively. It felt weirdly like if this was a bit more in the, a darker version of the Marvel in-house style, I might have gone for it. But it turns out you should not be annoyed uh, or be expected to be let down by just the because he's really, really good. The first page is absolutely spectacular. Uh, we have uh, him working really well with a colorist whose name I cannot remember, and it's not going to be. They never put the name in the credits at the beginning of these comic books, so I can't remember its surname, uh, Bleece. I do apologize for not remembering his name. Uh, but it is absolutely brilliant. The uh, POV angles they use, the richness of the colors, how deep they go for it, sometimes using very limited color palettes, but to great effect. And really, Rob Liefeld needs to uh, own a copy of this comic book, put it up in his wall somewhere, because the very first panel shows how to draw a mouth really, really effectively, and Liefeld cannot do that. He's really bad at it. So well done, uh, just to mention, you're better than Rob Liefeld. Um, and also throughout, it's just brilliant. Like, yes, it is loose, it is scratchy, but it does kind of fit, because yes, this is an emotional organisation using um, Sentinel technology to become more powerful uh, biomechanical superheroes and the like, but it does have a grungy feel to it. These are people who are kind of work-a-day mercenaries. These are not um, high-flying superhero kind of things, and if terrible thing happens to them, they kind of have to just deal with it. So that grungy style kind of fits. It is kind of low-key. And it comes across even more so when we get onto the writing of it, because Pac Nadal, it turns out, like myself, is a fan of the TV series Generation Kill, which, again, is kind of lo-fi and grungy. There are different stories of the invasion of Iraq uh, where um, it's much more cleanly shot. We have focus on just a few amazing, cool characters. In that, we just have this bunch of people going and doing a job. Um, and it comes across because he has a tendency to use the same kind of uh, TLAs and uh, other such shortenings to get points across really quite nicely. Uh, it's very rare I see in the wild some using the term Oscar Mike, but I know exactly what that means. And it was really cool to see it. Um, and it does actually work as a good intro to these people as well. I think this is one of the only ones of the From the Ashes which I've seen, which is 100% going to be a mini series. Uh, and I like the fact that it's going to be small and self contained. I also like the fact that even though it's an ensemble piece, we do not have that whole get the gang together kind of thing. I would hate for Pac Nadal to have to do such a tedious bit of writing as that. I don't think it works very well. Um, in this one, we are dropped right into the mix. And he's such a good writer that he focuses on each character just as much as they need to to get the point across about like uh, the, the, the key aspects, the kind of things you need to know about them. There's a whole bunch of other stuff which comes out later on. We get like really good dialogue between characters, we get an awful lot of show don't tell in terms of uh, why people are doing what they're doing but in those first few pages in the instance where we are mixing uh, character development world building and some really really good looking action sequences it all just comes across really well really natural the dialogue is naturalistic which i'm always a fan of uh, later on we get more characters being put into it and we realize the uh, yes these are cool mercenaries and they're going doing cool stuff but yeah they are working using trask technology working for the bad guys in the marvel universe at the moment they are hunting down mutants and yes the first one they hunt down is kind of a bad guy mutant but i feel like i mean i, I can't judge this like I, I can't review my expectations of a comic book but i don't think pat nadal is the kind of writer who's going to just do that as a one note kind of thing I think he's going to fright that we're going to get some really good looks at what it means to be doing this kind of work for these kinds of people 
when you're told who your enemies are before you even go in. And I think he's, he's going to do a really good job of it. It's one I'm really glad I picked up. I did not go for hardly any of the From the Ashes stuff. But like I said, these are two creators that are always worth a punt for me. And I'm really glad I took a shot on this one. Uh, that's it for me for now. I've got at least one more thing to review. There's a Terminator comic book out. Until I see you all again, though, look after each other, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.